LSU would be under 500 in bowl games. Alabama's carrying your conference. All right, here we go. It's the herd hierarchy, the top 10 teams in my final herd hierarchy of the year. Here we go. Yeah, Miami. Listen, they've gone nine and two since week six. Just let that soak in. Only the Chiefs and the Patriots in the AFC have been better. The Dolphins have gone nine and two since week six. And when they can score 24 points or more, they're nine and up. They got Matt Moore, that's not gonna happen. But it's a real football team, Dolphins at 10. Number nine. Again, the Lions are like the Dolphins. There's things they do well. They've got four players with at least 50 catches and 500 yards. That's tied for the most in the NFL and the only playoff team that has that. So they're dangerous, but they're not good enough on the back end. They don't run the football well enough to win multiple playoff games if they can win one at all. Number eight. Kansas City. Low ceiling, but they lead the NFL to take the ways with 33 and Tyreek Hill is unbelievable. It reminds me of a Dory Jackson in college for USC. You hold your breath every time he touches the ball, but I think they have a very low ceiling. Number seven. I'm lower on the Seahawks than everybody else. Listen, they allow the second fewest yards per play in the NFC. That's their calling card. And they got 42 sacks, third most in the NFL. But the offensive line in the running game is not what it's been in years past at only seven. Number six. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers, but I think they're overstated. Listen, we knew they would be better in the second half because the schedule got weak. They won seven straight games because they played the weakest team. Now, here's what I love about it. Le'Veon Bell's averaging 170 yards from scrimmage over his final seven games. I mean, some of that's weak schedule. Some of that's Le'Veon Bell is a superstar running back. Workforce. I like it better than Ezekiel Elliott as a runner. I actually do. Steelers six. Number five. I think Atlanta, Pittsburgh are very similar. Don't trust their defenses. <clears throat> Falcons lead the NFL almost seven yards per play, and they lead the NFL in almost 34 points a game. But I think it's a one-sided team that couldn't win the Super Bowl. Number four. These are the four teams that I think can win the Super Bowl. The only four teams. The New York Giants. Listen, they have the NFL's Dude, best it rolls, man. Players. That means a ton. Their secondary right now is playing out of its mind. So Green Bay, I think, could be them, but New York gets you no touchdowns cheap. Their running game with Paul Pierce over the last several weeks has a pulse. So since so Paul Perkins, since week six, the Giants are tied for the best scoring defense. This team going in the Super Bowl. They're, of the final four I have, they have the least chance because they're too OBJ dominated on offense, but they can win the Super Bowl. Number three. I've got the Patriots lower than most. They have the NFL's top scoring defense. That is primarily because they have played, outside of Russell Wilson, garbage quarterbacks all year long. They haven't allowed a 100-yard rusher this season, which does impress me, but I got them at three. Number two. Cowboys average the second most time of possession. Why does that matter? Keep the ball away, potentially, from Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady. The time of possession for the Cowboys is their greatest ally. I do think their defense is playing better, but in the front seven outside of Sean Lee, they don't have anybody that scares you. Number one. By an inch, I think Green Bay right now is the best team in the league. I think their offensive line is giving Aaron Rodgers a ton of time. They have multiple weapons on the perimeter. They have the league's, this is important, they have the league's best third down defense. Okay, so they get you off the field and get the ball back to Aaron Rodgers. I think they're also right now one of the healthier teams in the NFL. Oh, man. I think it's by an inch. But Aaron Rodgers, since he said we could run the tape, 71% completion percentage and eight and a half yards per pass. They can go deep. They can go underneath. They have a semblance of a running game. They have an offensive line that's overshadowed by Dallas's. And they get you off the field on third down. Key stat, Green Bay by an inch. Best team in the league right now, Christine Williams. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herd Line News. We now know that the Raiders will start Connor Cook this weekend. And for the Texans, it will be Brock Osweiler. So it'll be uh. Osweiler versus Cook in that game. How excited are we to watch it? Won't we'll watch it. At all? 
I don't think so. Why not? It's going to be awful. The over-under is nine. How bad do you feel for the Raiders? I feel bad for the Raiders. I don't feel bad for Houston. Houston gave a crappy yeah. quarterback 70 million bucks. I feel terrible for the Raiders. Raiders weren't going to win the Super Bowl, but they were going to, they were going to win the playoff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I really like their story. They'll just pick it up next year. Can you believe that?